What up, Weeches and Beaches? The time has come. It's finally Christmas. And so today, we are looking at the energy of December 25th, 2023. What is in store for the collective that is seeing this message? What's going on for them and what do they need to know? So this is the last day of the daily energy reads that I'm doing. After this, I'm gonna start doing um, monthly Zodiac readings. I'm hoping that if I have time, I'll do a 2024 energy reading for each zodiac sign. So keep an eye out for that one. If you'd like to work with me one on one, all of my offerings are on jessieretroreadings.com. I have a 50% off discount that is going through until tomorrow's full moon in Cancer. So hook yourself up with 50% off using the code MOONDAY at checkout. Um, so this full moon in Cancer, I typically do monthly moon ceremonies, full moon ceremonies, but this month I'm combining it with a New Year's Eve rave. So if you're in the Fresno area, come through. It's called Vibes Check. There will be a link to all the information in the description of this video, but check it out. It's an intentional safe space rave meets moon ceremony, fire dancers at the closing ceremony, um, sound healers, energy healers, healers, massage, Reiki, I mean, queer femme DJs, we got a uh, weed fairy, like, it's such a fucking vibe, dude, just check it out, do yourself a fiva, if you're in the area, hook yourself up. Anyways, let's get into what is going on for this collective on December 25th, 2023. Dang, bunch of cards. They're like, go with the flow, don't overthink today. It feels like the energy of this day feels kind of messy. And it makes sense, because like on Christmas, there's a lot to do. You gotta cook, you gotta meet family, you gotta do this, that, and the other thing. There's like a lot of energy moving around that we can feel. So I can, I can definitely already pick up on that. And so the overall message here with the Page of Cups being literally the only card that's upright, this is my go with the flow card. So it definitely feels like today is that message of just go with the flow, bitch. Don't get caught up. Like your spirit guides are still there. You are still like in your bag. Don't lie to yourself and think that, you know, it was all for nothing. Today is stressful and blah, 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 blah. It's the worst. No. Go with the flow. See where it takes you. Yeah, it feels like temporary imbalance for overall balance, you know, um, temporary chaos, temporary disorder, <laughs> temporary press pressure, but ultimately it's, it's meant to happen. Yeah. And then we have the high priestess, king of cups in reverse and the five of pentacles in reverse. Um, yeah, honestly, I feel like there might be, uh, some issues with feeling how I'm hearing it is emotionally raw. Today really just feels like, trust yourself, trust that, you know, it's not all for nothing. Today feels like, just give yourself to today, go with the flow of the energy. If you planned on doing one thing and then they're like, nope, skirt, we're gonna do this instead, just adapt. Let yourself go where that flow carries you. If your intuition says, and your intuition feels peaceful and knowing. Your intuition is not your anxiety. Your anxiety feels stressful and impatient. Um, so trust your intuition today. If you feel like you need to make an adjustment or you know, it just feels like the universe is pushing you in a different direction, let yourself go in that direction. Don't fight it. Since today is the last day of the... Uh, <laughs> Confidence is the key to your success. The energy is gaining momentum. Love it. I was going to say, since today is the last day of these daily energy readings, I'm just going to throw the kitchen sink at this fucking reading, meaning I'm going to pull from a bunch of my Oracle decks, way more than I usually do. So let's just pull a bunch of cards and see what the running theme here is for us today on December 25th. Okay. 
The energy is gaining momentum. Again, that just speaks to the wave and the current that I feel us to be on. Move confidently, you know? That's the key to your success today. Oh, wow. Love to see that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it says debt paid off. The old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you and your life. Ooh, and then we have goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. Oh, that's beautiful. What else would you like us to know on the 25th? Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. Ooh. Wow. And then we've been talking about um, that symbiotic relationship or that, that emotional connection that's been showing up for you heavy lately. And this soulmate relationship, new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. So for those of you who are already in relationships, today feels like one of really solidifying that connection, feeling good within your relationship, feeling like, okay, I can breathe and lean back into this connection. Um, and then for those of you who are single, this feels honestly like you just need to trust that spirit team's got you, that you've done enough magic, enough intention setting, enough energy work, all of that shit that really you can just let yourself sit back and enjoy today instead of uh, allowing yourself to be in any type of fuck ass energy that says otherwise, you know? All these glossy cards, every time I reach for another deck, I'm like, oh my God, it might glare, <laughs> but we're gonna keep going. Reflecting pond and iridescence. Iridescence, let your true colors sparkle, glimmer, and glow for all to see. Reflecting pond, celebrate the true beauty and light that lies within you and others. Oh my God. <laughs> and this one's pretty cool because it's talking about using the color red and uh, hello, Christmas is mostly red. Honeysuckle red, sweet and fiery. Your emotions are at the root of your situation. Use the color red to soothe and heal. Well, <laughs> bruh, food meditation on Christmas. Food meditation on Christmas, that'll be easy. Food meditation. I am a conduit for prosperity. I receive inspiration from the smallest act. Ooh, and fire opal. It was talking about red. And then under that, too, was this sexuality. And with all of this red showing up connected to the root chakra and these relationships, ace of wands, all of that, allow yourself to be connected to your sexual expression and, um, whether it's solo or with others, like, let yourself connect to your sexual self. All right, I'm going to wrap it up with one more card from the Lightworkers Oracle deck to just see what our guides want us to know on December 25th. Take today as a win. Today is a good one. It is allowing yourself to fully embrace this new. Oh, <laughs> it's back. Divine talents. Ooh, maybe this is what the Ace of Wands has been alluding to with this aha moment and stuff that has been coming up uh, for so much of these. I guess the couple, the past few days actually has the Ace of Wands have been coming up. Anyways, um, so let's see what this is about. Blah, blah, blah. Divine talents, honey, allow yourself to really show up in your expressive self today. Today is one of those days where you sit back, receive, and be like, yes, you're welcome. Like, I, I acknowledge your existence. I receive the gifts. Thank you so much. Yes, I am deserving. Yes, thank you. <laughs> like, like that, kind of <clears throat> that kind of energy where it's just like, yes. You are a talented soul. 
Over many lifetimes, you have developed your spiritual abilities to channel higher awareness, attract healing energy, and radiate light to uplift the consciousness of those around you. Your divine talents are many and uniquely expressed through you. Your talents do not have to resemble those of another to have their own inestimable value. Do not be afraid to use them. And at the bottom here, we have a second ray of wisdom. I really feel like Spirit's kind of giving you this glimpse into what's on the horizon for you. That light bulb moment, the aha, what Spirit's really been calling you into, and essentially what next year, next year's energy feels like for you. The second ray of wisdom is a consciousness of loving wisdom straight from the heart of the universe. It amplifies the magnetic power of attraction, empowering you to pull into your life all that is needed for your life's work. It brings the opportunity to heal, restore, and understand through the power of love and the light of ancient wisdom. The spiritual masters know, wait, the spiritual master known as the Buddha is with you now to help you fully receive and integrate the blessing of this ray of light for the universe. I find it funny that Buddha is showing up on Christmas. <laughs> so I'm going to read the rest of this because I feel called to do so. So here we go. The second ray of wisdom is the energy of the open and loving heart of the universe. It is inclusive, drawing all things towards it with an invisible magnetism. It is gifted to you at this time to help you attract into your life the people, opportunities, and teachings that, help, that will help you succeed in your life mission. This ray will help you focus your consciousness in your heart. It will bring to consciousness any unresolved matters of the heart for healing. This includes not only issues of relationship, but also any issues around trusting your heart to lead you. This ray will help you heal your heart in any affirming and nurturing way. The challenge with this ray, given that it is so magnetic and attractive, is learning to discern and say no when you need to. Imagine a fisherman who casts a very wide net and catches most of the ocean in it. Not everything is useful for ev or even desired by the fisherman. While some things are gratefully accepted by the fisherman, other things are best returned to the ocean where they belong. Being able to trust in future abundance is important. You will not need to hold on to every opportunity, person, or situation out of fear of loss or lack. Instead, you are learning to live in true abundance and flow. Practice feeling comfortable in letting go as well as receiving. Trust that the universe has all that you want and need in unlimited supply. The universe will truly provide for you, dear child of light. This is a very different way of thinking to how most humans are conditioned from early age. But it's never too late to change one's mind and open one's heart to a more loving, abundant, and enjoyable way to live. When the Buddha comes into your world, he brings the gift of wisdom. That includes openness to all that is without judgment. This might be the struggle that will eventually be revealed as a blessing in disguise. It might be the challenge that causes you to grow into readiness for the next phase of your divine life mission. Finally, as a second ray of wisdom relates particularly to teachers and education, you are encouraged to trust that you have a message to share that is helpful and educational for others. Whether your involvement in education and teaching is formal or less obvious, you are encouraged to honor the energy of the teacher in your life. In some way, your sole purpose likely involves helping others to learn through wisdom and love. So we're gonna read this invocation to really anchor into this energy. Go ahead and breathe in. And out. If you're able to place both feet on the ground, close your eyes. Breathe in one more time. And out. I now accept of my own free will 
the blessing and grace of the second ray of wisdom in my life. Through unconditional love and divine mercy, I open my heart with joy to the magnetic and creative field of attraction. I gratefully open up to abundance in all ways with trust, wisdom, and serenity. The universe provides all that I want and need with grace, love, and perfect timing. Thank you, universe. I call on the loving assistance of the genuine ascended master known as the Buddha in all aspects of this process so that all beings can receive the loving benefit of this spiritual gift according to divine compassion. Through divine grace and my own free will, so be it. I love how they left, uh, they left this message with trust that you will receive all that you need to support you with your talents and your divine purpose. Because I believe I said this earlier in this reading or previous ones, but it was, this wasn't for nothing, mm -hmm. that you are meant to share your learnings with others, whether that's professionally or just in your personal life or a combination of that. It's, it's all of this is happening for your purpose. And because of that, you don't need to be concerned. You really don't have to be scared or worried about what's on the horizon because it all is well. Whatever fades away, whoever fades away was meant to. And allowing yourself to recognize that and to not fight it. And now that you have really learned to show up in your own process and to trust your pace and your yourself um, and anchoring into that, during Christmas season, I mean, hello, <laughs> like you're a warrior, you're a powerhouse. And because of that, you are meant to succeed. So know that, hold that, trust that. And I'll see you later this month. Like I said, if you're in the Fresno area, come through. We're going to be doing that rave on New Year's Eve combined with the moon ceremony. So go check it out. Link in the description for more information. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, remember you can do that on my website, jessieretroreadings.com. Um, and then at some point at the end of this month, I plan to do the 2024 year ahead spread for each zodiac sign so keep an eye out for that um but yeah until then remember if they ain't paying your bills pay them no mind check you later